In all of our example garbage collectors, we made the simplification of dealing with a single type of object, always just a tree node that has a left and a right. And that means in our garbage collector, when it was transitioning an object from gray to black, then it knew to mark the left field and the, the right field, that those are the two pointers that are stored in each object. More realistically though, a garbage collector has to deal with different sh kinds of objects. The, the objects have different shape. Some of them will have two pointers, like uh, our tree nodes. Some of them will have three pointers. Some of them will be arrays of pointers, so that there will have to be some size in the object. Some of them will just have numbers and no pointers at all, and so on. The usual way for dealing with this variety of shapes is to have a tag associated with each object in a particular place in the object. Um, so for example, the mark function in the garbage collector might take a pointer to an object that is already marked as gray, um, and then cast it to some generic, say, GC any object uh, to, to extract the tag out. So the idea is that all objects uh, have some tag, some number tag, as the beginning of the object. And then the garbage collector can switch on the different kinds of tags. It can, uh, if, it, if that tag indicates that it's a tree node, like it was in our simple example, uh, then it can mark the left and right after casting that pointer to a GC node. But maybe the tag says that it's an array of pointers, uh, and that the, a GC array starts with a size that tells us how many pointers to traverse. So maybe the array code looks like this, where it has to do a for loop to mark all the elements. And so on. Some of the tags will say that there are no pointers, and the, the mark function can just immediately mark it as black. Uh, some of them will have more complicated uh, things. Uh, there are different ways to store this tag information. Uh, it could be just be based on the address, for example, and there could be a table mapping pages to a particular tag so that all objects on a given page have the same implicit tag. Um, but we're just going to, for simplicity, assume that it's a, a number at the beginning of the function.